Ξέρουμε ότι η σκοπία ξεκίνησε αρχικά από τη μουσική, από τι παραδόσει, τι παραδοσιακέ στολέ, τον όλο πολιτισμό που είχατε γύρω από τη σκοπία. Ε, και η μαγεία ήταν όταν πήγα επάνω και κατάφερα για πρώτη φορά να γνωρίσω σαν ανθρώπου. Είναι μια εκπληκτική χώρα. I would say yes, though I've been in Greece for 18 years, so it's very hypothetical for me. Um, and why? Well, if that's what the Scottish people want, if that's what the majority want, uh, I think they can manage it. Well, um, it's been a difficult decision, but I think if my heart was voting, I'd vote yes, but with my head, I'd vote no. And uh, the reason is, I think they can, that Scotland can get the best of both worlds with uh, further devolution. I, I would vote no. Um, the main reason being um, that the, the yes vote is very optimistic. And although I'm an optimistic person, I think I've got a strong streak of Scottish Calvinism and I, I'm not sure if it would ever come about that we would be uh, happy with the result. I don't think such a big thing would be visible the day after. I think it would be visible in the long run. Um, not necessarily only negative, uh, I'm sure there's going to be benefits as well. There's a lot of uncertainty about whether they'll be able to be members of the uh, European community, what uh, currency they'll be using and uh, it could take them up to 10 years or longer to get into the uh, European community, which I think is a major problem. I think it's better that we're inside the United Kingdom. We are five million people in Scotland, um, but with the, the rest of the UK, we're 60 million people, so even that makes a big difference. What I'm afraid of um, is going to happen, whether it's a yes or no vote, and that is that the relationship between the English and the Scottish people is going to be affected negatively. Um, since the referendum debate started, uh, there's been a lot of horrible things said from both sides, and that's a pity, because up until that point, uh, at least on the ground level, people were getting on very well. The biggest fear would be the economy and what currency we would use. Um, the next thing would be, uh, you know, a rise of just nationalism, which it's it's quite dangerous, and you see it happening in Europe. Of course, it will damage Great Britain because it's going to be split apart. But at the end of the day, Scotland has to do what's best for Scotland, not what's best for Great Britain. Yeah, I think so because. Uh... The larger the country, the more power they have in negotiations and everything, they can get a better deal for themselves together as a group. Um, I'm not sure if it could damage Great Britain as a whole, but certainly I think uh, people would, would look at the UK in a very different light. And I think as a little country, Scotland has done very well being part of the UK and being a, a, big, uh, a big player for a little country. I would say vote according to what you think and without fear and don't listen to scaremongering. If you think that as a Scottish person you and your country can manage it, you have to vote yes. I hope they vote no, but I hope that it's very close so that they can have uh, some leverage to get more devolution from London. My family is split down the middle. My father is, is a no vote, my sister is a yes vote. So um, I just hope that whatever the result is that people will Κάτι γνώμη μου πρέπει να εξαρτοποιηθούν οπωσδήποτε γιατί είναι χώρα με απίστευτο πλούτο είτε από πετρέλαιο είτε από αέριο. Έχουν πάρα πολύ τουρισμό όλο τον χρόνο. Έχουν πολύ μεγάλη ιστορία σαν λαό, έχουν παραδόσει. Είναι φιλελεύθεροι άνθρωποι, ανεξάρτητοι γενικά στι σκέψει του και πιστεύω ότι του αξίζει να έχουν δική του χώρα, δικό του νόμισμα και δική του ελευθερία.